I'm setting up for when my friends come here. I'm making the pancake mix for the pancake art challenge that we're going to be doing. Here was our block. This is the first one we made. It's not very great. This is our green, a little bit better. Yellow, pretty good. Blue, great. Then red. This one is the one we just made. This is by far the hardest. It took literally all of the red and the majority of this red too. That's crazy, because if you look at the blue, it didn't take nearly all of it. So now we're going to make this purple color, but we don't know what art we're making, so we're just gonna make all the colors. We're gonna make purple, more red, some oranges, probably not more red, because that took too long. So this is all the supplies I need to get. <laughs> so this is the bright red. It looks great, very watery though. Like, is that even pancake mix? That should be fine, not a problem. So we just take our funnel, put it in there. Oh, oh no, there's not enough room. Oh, yikes. I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Okay guys, so now we're going to be making the purple mix. So basically all I have to do is pour some normal mix right in there, or enough pancake mix for the purple. So we take off the purple lid and squeeze in a couple drops. Usually for the lighter the color, the more drops I have, but purple is like a pretty dark color. I mean, other than black. Now we're gonna see how it mixes up. Make sure the lid is on tight. It, wait, did I make blue? I guess we're we'll just have to find out. That doesn't look like very much color. What went wrong? Did I put it in blue? Wait, wait a, a minute. Blue. So I'm a little bit confused how all the mix got on the outside of the cup. That is not meant to happen. <laughs> all right, let's add a few more drops. All right, that should be that should be good, right? Maybe just a few more drops. Oh! That wasn't meant to happen. We've got our food coloring in there. So now we're going to throw the lid on and hopefully the food coloring won't end up on the outside like last time. <laughs> All right, that's enough. It still doesn't look very blue. Why? Why is the color still on the outside? So I bought regular food coloring, but this old cake kind that I just happened to find seems to work much better. So I'm gonna throw in some of that with a handy dandy toothpick. Let's find out if I had way too much. Oh! Be careful when you're handling sharp objects, kids. Ooh, that looks like a much darker blue. We realized we were trying to make purple, not blue. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. The reason we realized we weren't trying to make blue is because we came over here and we realized we already had a little bit of purple in my name. So we found the funnel and we are pouring the purple mix. And then we have our full assortment of colors here. I'm kind of thinking that we need to add some more black food coloring to the black and make it a little more brownish because right now it's not very good. We're trying to make this as dark as possible. We're making this without cleaning out the purple the purple is already kind of dark, and we're trying to make this black kind of a mix of all the other colors. We're just gonna leave it in the purple bottle and go for it. Woo, let's go. Okay, so it's kind of turned into like a dark purple grayish. It said this is brown, but it looks kind of black, so we're just gonna give it a shot. This is a more concentrated gel-like food coloring. On the thing, it says it's brown, and it kind of looks brown, so we're not gonna add too, too much. We're gonna give it a go. So the black isn't very black. Yeah. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends, and have an awesome day. See you guys next time. Peace out.